It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to make up for all the damage he's done internationally and nationally. His network of thugs and co-conspirators are going to continue to try to undermine our democracy in the meantime. Imagine what he can do in another year. Imagine what can happen in Ukraine. Make no mistake, this is a full-scale Russian invasion into Ukraine happening right now, and the air raid sirens going off in the Ukrainian capital as we speak. Folks, you hear the news. Once again, Putin and the Russians are trying to engage in our elections and decide who the president's going to be. And this time, I'm the object there of their attention. Because Putin knows if I am president of the United States, his days of tyranny and trying to intimidate the United States and those in Eastern Europe are over. I'm going to stand up to him. He's a bully, just like the president. And I know he doesn't want me to be president, but to tell you what, when I'm president, things are going to change. Mr. Putin, the American people decide their elections, not you. Held up aid to make sure that while at the same time, innocent people in the Donbass are getting killed by Russian soldiers. Secondly, I found out that Vladimir Putin doesn't want me to be president. So uh, I, uh, I've learned a lot about these things early on from these hearings that were that are being held. But the bottom line is, I think we have to ask ourselves the honest question, who is most likely to do what needs to be done? In a weekend interview, Vladimir Putin laughed at the suggestion that you had called him a killer. Is that still your belief, sir, that he is a killer? And I'll continue the trend if you don't mind of asking a second question. Do you believe if he does agree to cooperate, then what kind of a challenge do you find yourself in? How would you ever trust him? And if Ronald Reagan said, trust but verify, what do you say to Vladimir Putin? <laughs> to answer the first question, <laughs> I'm laughing too. They actually, I... Uh... Well, look, I mean, he has made clear that uh, uh, the answer is, I believe he has in the past essentially acknowledged that he was, uh, there are certain things that he would do or did do. But look, um, when I was asked that question on air, I answered it honestly. But it's not much of a, I, 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 I don't think it matters a whole lot in terms of this next meeting we're about to have. I'm close to amazed by how far Putin seems to have come in making, throwing his lot with the West. Um, he seems to have, from all the briefings I've gotten, uh, actually uh, stiff-armed his military here and stiff-armed some of the Browns and Reds in the uh, in the uh, um, uh, in his government uh, and out of government and made a very I don't think anybody since Peter the Great has made such a significant at least initial move to the West. Do you think you may have underestimated Putin? Thank you, thank you. Thank you.